Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew. My fellow speech and debate campers, we take the supervision of our campers very, very seriously. It is important that our campers understand our rules in advance. The rules are for the protection of the campers and we want the students to enjoy their stay here at Cameron University. Yes, sir, you have a question. Uh, y yes, um, are there any rules for the speech and debate camp? Okay. Well, let's go over the rules. You must be on time and attend all sessions. I mean, you do want to make a good first impression, don't you? You must wear your name tag and it must be visible. This will be your golden ticket. Cause I've got a golden ticket. To eat in the cafeteria, ride on the dorm elevators, and attend all the evening activities. You must report your lost name tag to Nikki Alderson, Jason Mitchell, or simply the camp office. Students are not allowed to leave campus without a staff member, a sponsor, or parent. If you happen to leave campus, make sure your squad leader or supervisor is notified. The last thing we wanna do is to report a missing student, and trust me, we don't wanna do all that. Absolutely. Means absolutely no drugs or alcoholic beverages will be tolerated. What? You will be kicked out of camp. Uh, fine. If a student drives to camp, the vehicle must be parked in the Scheffler Center parking lot throughout the week. Students cannot drive on or off campus throughout the week. Smoking is not permitted anywhere on campus, including the dorm rooms, no matter what your age is. You must notify your camp director if any visitors are coming to visit a fellow camper. The students are responsible for any medical costs and medications. We will not provide any meds or over-the-counter drugs. If for any reason anything is lost or stolen, immediately report to Nikki Alderson and Jason Mitchell. Yes, sir. I take it the campus can use the library, and if so, what are the rules in regarding the library? Ah, well, I'll keep this library section short and sweet. Campers may use the library and can photocopy materials for a dime per copy, and there is no checkout overnight privileges. Don't even think about taking books out of the library, because you will set off the alarms. No food or drink can be brought into the library. We know all the tricks of how to get food inside somewhere. There will be no running, no loud talking, or hiding of any library materials, no matter how juicy the information is. All the reference materials must be kept on the library's bottom floor. Bottom. That wasn't meant to be funny. Hilarious. Yes, sir. And the rules for the computer labs? Well, as far as the computer labs go, they're pretty much the same rules, but there are a few different ones. You may print only one copy of each resource and there is no access to the color printer. If you happen to be a member of the Secret Service or CIA, keep the blackmail files to yourself. If you need to practice your speech, do so in the hallway and not in the labs. What about the cafeteria? Uh, now, when it's time to grub down in the cafeteria, follow these simple guidelines for a smooth, free experience. There is no running, or as you kids put it, cutsies. If you happen to spot a cute boy or girl standing in line ahead of you, do not use any excuse to cut in front of anyone to run up to that person. The conveyor belt must be your destination for any trash and your tray. Now, even though this is all you can eat, all you can eat. Don't waste the food, and it cannot be carried out of the cafeteria borders. And here's just some common sense. Be respectful to those who serve you. According to some reviews from Yelp.com, Sodexo does an amazing job with our campers. Yes, sir. Since this is a camp, what are the rules for staying in the dorms? Here comes the good stuff. 
When you are in the dorms, the camper must be on the floor by 10.45 p.m. and inside of the room at 11 p.m. No matter what your excuse is, you cannot leave the floor after those times. There will be room checks throughout the camp. Now, guys, girls, do not let your hormones get the best of you. There will be no boys allowed on the girls' floor and vice versa. There are phones in more than half of the rooms. A lost phone or a broken phone that is your fault will be a $30 donation to the camp. You may not use the phones to do this. Hello, I'd like to speak to Ms. Tinkle. First name, Ivana. Ivana Tinkle, just a sec. Ivana Tinkle, Ivana Tinkle. All right, everybody put down your glasses. Ivana Tinkle. <laughs> <laughs> har, har, har. Make sure you hang on to your key and your entry card. These items will not only get you onto the floor, but the elevator, and most importantly, your room. There will be a $50 donation for a lost key and $10 donation for a lost card. Make sure your rooms are locked. Trust us, the last thing you want is to get your iPad, cell phone, wallet, anything of valuable stolen, because people can make cash off of that. If you listen to music after 11 p.m., Make sure you're wearing headphones, because the last thing anybody wants to hear is this. So overall, be nice, respectful, and polite in the dorms, especially in the main desk area. Well, thank you my fellow campers for the State of the Union address. Welcome to Cameron University. Godspeed, good luck, and go get them.